Hello there, this is Dave Allen for the No Stars website and today we're going to have a quick look at Pinnacle Studio on the iPad and see what we can do with it. And I've just opened up the application, I'm having a quick look in the settings to see what we got there and let's uh, see what else we can do after that. So we can um, create our projects. So here I've got three projects, one called No Stylus 1 which I've only just created, there's nothing in there yet. The one called Video One, which was something I was working on previously, and I've got one called Wizard Gold. But let's go into the one that I've just started. So, I've tapped on that little button there, and now what I'm do is I'm going to add some video to the timeline. So to do that, I've got to uh, touch and hold on the media to drag it into the storyboard timeline. Well, that's just tapping on it, and it's brought it there, and then I can play it through. Hello there, this is Dave Allen for the you No know, Stylus website, and Okay, so that's a little bit played through there, and uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do tap and hold down, and drag it into the uh, timeline. Just dragged it and dropped it in there, and now I can tap on this play button and play it away. Hello there, this is Dave Allen for. So I can play through this here and do some editing. Let's say I want to put some titles into this here. So let's just uh, choose the first title out of this here. Yeah, I double tapped on that and put it in there. It's put it in there and it's uh, given a cross dissolve in there as well. So, so I move back that back over there. I've tapped on that there, and now I can enter the text that I want to put in there. So, so let's put in there no stylus. Click on done. So now let's just take it back to the start and play it. Hello there, this is Dave Allen for and the nice little cross dissolve to get into the video. This is a video that I shot while I was waiting at the hospital the other day. That's how easy it is to add a video and to add a title to your video as well. Let's see what else we can do with this. We've got other stuff in there we can do. We can do extreme. Okay, so I'll put some extreme in there. I'll take that first section out. Tap on the dustbin icon and it's got rid of it. So we'll have this thing here as our starting point. I can change the size of the cross dissolve there. That's quite nice, isn't it? It's quite good that we can do our video editing on the iPad. And this one here, Pinnacle Studio, actually used to be called Avid Studio. And it's brought out by Corel. Oh, there you go. It's starting to work now. Look. And see, we've got these uh, bits here. Look, these are drop zones. So what we've got to do is, that's what the number one and the number two is. So I'll go back to, say, some photographs. Let's take this, drag it and drop it into there. That's a photograph that I took while I was doing my uh, videoing in the car. You see I've got my Wi-Fi there. And this is another photograph I took. I took this one with the iPad. I haven't taken many photographs from the iPad, but there you go, there's one of them. So let's see what happens when we play this now. So I click on play. Wasn't that exciting? Well, not bad. We've got all sorts of things happening in this here. We've got various pictures and graphics coming on. A bit of an exciting start to the um, to the video. And it goes in then to the bit where I'm talking. Try my cutting tool again. So I'd move this across. There you go. So that's chopped that bit off the end there. And now what I need to do is I need to put in some thin to end the video. So what should we use? We'll use a title maybe. Let's go for this one just because it's so bright. Drag that and drop it in there. Automatically it's put in a cross dissolve. Cross dissolve from the video into the text. Tap on that there. Put some text in. Subscribe to the Wizard Gold YouTube channel. It's a horrible typeface that isn't it? So there we go. We've got some different typefaces we can use in there. There you go, Optima, that's one I like. I suppose really what I should do before I finish this video off is I should uh, have it so that I can export it out. So to do that, let's uh, tap on that on the right corner. And I can send it directly into YouTube. I can send it to Facebook. I can make a video file out of it. And let's see, what will I do out of this? Let's make a video file out of it so I can have a look at it on my computer. And I want it to be a HD 720p. And we'll have a look at that, see what it looks like when the video has been processed. Okay, so there's my video. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add this to the end of this tutorial video, so you can see what it looks like in full. Hello there, this is Dave Allen for 
the No Stylus website and just having a chat about stuff that's been on the website there. And, well, mainly we're talking about using shared photo streams and looking at what else you can do with the new iOS 6, like Facebook integration, which I think is pretty good. I've been using that and quite enjoying it, although um, there are other things that are quite good too. And Passbook, well, that's a bit of a waste of time, isn't it? Especially here in Spain, there's nothing here connected to our Passbook, so um, I can't seem to be able to use that in iOS 6. Uh, I kind of like iOS 6 uh, so far. Um, the best thing about it, of course, is the fact that on my iPad I can use Siri. And um, even though if it's not many things that I connect up to to book restaurants and do other things like that, I don't mind. As long as I can talk to my computer and take to launch applications and whatever else, it's um, pretty good. Sometimes when I'm using the dictation service, it uh, doesn't work quite as well as it should. Sometimes it starts to uh, go out onto the uh, internet to do the conversion for me. I get those little three purple dots lipping away there and well nothing then happens but still it's uh, pretty good works most of the time and usually is a whole lot faster than typing it in using the keyboard on screen so this is Dave Allen for No Stylus and I'll talk to you again soon about more things that are going on with the No Stylus website me using all my Mac and Apple stuff and having fun basically just being a good Mac user so this is Dave Allen for the No Stylus website and for an amazing iPad and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye bye now.